Part 1. Activate your test. Before taking your sample, be sure to activate your test online at homedic.com slash activate. To activate your test, you must enter the 12-digit activation code and the 8-digit security code on Homedic's website. These codes can be found on your personal activation card. Alternatively, scan the QR code on the activation card to load the test codes into the Homedic activation portal. Keep your personal activation card until you have received your test results, or take a photo of it. If you have not activated your test kit, the laboratory cannot process your sample. Part 2A. Prepare to take your sample. In your test package, you will also find a blood collection card, lancets, band-aids, alcohol wipes, a gauze pad, and a resealable bag. To help ensure a successful sample, drink plenty of water 30 minutes beforehand. Wash your hands with warm water for 30 seconds and dry them well. Hold your hands against a cup of warm water for 2 minutes to stimulate blood circulation. Then, swing your arms at your sides 8 to 10 times. The best location for blood collection is the middle or ring fingers, near the fingertip and slightly to the side. Use the included alcohol wipe to disinfect the finger and let it air dry. For other blood collection tips, please refer to our website. Then, twist the cap of the lancet to remove it. The lancet is now ready for use. Part 2B. Collect your sample. Place the lancet against your disinfected finger. Press down firmly on the lancet until you hear a click. If you are having trouble, ask someone else to help. Wipe off the first drop of blood that appears with the included gauze pad. Stand up and keep your hand below your waist to increase blood flow. Gently massage your finger from the palm towards the fingertip. Hold your finger above the blood collection card and let the blood drops fall into the marked circles. If needed, you can gently bring the blood droplet into contact with the collection card without touching the card with your finger. Avoid applying too much pressure to your fingertip or pressing your finger against the blood collection card, as this can damage the blood cells and cause the sample to become unusable. Completely fill all five circles on the blood collection card up to the edges. At least two-thirds of each circle must be filled, as this is the minimum amount of blood the laboratory needs to analyze the test sample. If you could not collect enough blood from the first finger prick, use the additional lancets to prick another finger. Use one of the band-aids to cover the site of the finger prick. Place the blood collection card in a dry area, away from direct sunlight, and allow it to dry for three to four hours. Important, do not place the blood collection card on a radiator or other heat source. Place the blood collection card in the provided resealable bag and close it. Part 3. Return your sample to the laboratory. Place the resealable bag with the blood collection card in the return envelope and seal it with the plastic adhesive strip. If you purchased multiple tests, return each test kit with the provided return envelope. Do not combine multiple test kits in one envelope, as we work with multiple laboratories. Place the envelope in a regular mailbox to return it to the laboratory. The envelope has a prepaid return label printed on it. Once the lab has received your test sample, they will process it. Your test results will be reviewed by a laboratory specialist. We will contact you immediately once your test results are ready. Homedic, the easiest way to track your health.